Welcome back to Honor Bound, Redemption of the New Guard. Blah, blah, blah. We are back. <laughs> awesome. So, so, you guys did you manage to defeat a pair of Ankicks. And, um, well, Martha was close to dying twice. Mm -hmm. What's the XP for Ankicks these days? You guys all get 300 each. Wow. For the two? So I'm leveling uh, up, which I'm starting to deal with. Uh, yes, you can okay. feel free if you have level up, you can feel free to roll your HP. So What's 13, the XP 45. for level 4? Oh yeah, I need to roll HP. 2700. Yeah, it's big. Oh wow. So I'm thinking this is the uh, second edition level 1. Yeah. yeah. With a lot this of extra is... abilities. Alright, so here we go, rolling for HP, this could get pretty tragic. Oh yeah! Nice! Yeah, nice! Perfect. Well, to be fair, I rolled a, a good job. the last one, so now I'm like back to average. <laughs> Still good. 20 so HP. I have more HP than the than the mage. That's 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 nice. It's a nice change. Yeah, let's just. I'm, it's good that you have more HP than the mage. <laughs> I think I have more HP than you now. I have What's 20, your HP? 20. That's exactly what I have. Okay. Nice. Although you have much higher con, don't you? And better. Uh, no, my con is 10. Oh. Cool. Well, the tank should have HP. This, yeah. is, this is good for the party. This is good for everyone. Awesome. Okay, so you guys um, and then spending the rest of the night there? Spells. Yeah, we yep, go back to sleep. We may need to sleep yep. in in case our sleep, if our rest was interrupted. Yeah. Your rest was interrupted, yes. Yeah. I, I, I think anybody would count a pair of two large ank eggs dragging you off into the ground as... Yeah, we probably <laughs> as actually nuke our camp, don't we? We've now got an ant hole in our campsite. Yeah, yeah. we should move. Two. <laughs> okay, good. So you move your you move your campsite and you spend the rest of the night there. Um, again, watches or anything, or do you guys all sleep in? Uh, same watch order. Which just means that I finish my watch and then you take your watch for four hours. Yeah, and then Ryan will. Yeah, then I'll just keep watching after that. Or. I'm going I'm to need a full rest. Yeah, maybe maybe you guys should both take two-hour watches. I'll make my four-hour watch, and then I can watch while you guys sleep. If you guys don't mind. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so um, from what I'm, what I'm getting is that you guys sleep in more than you supposed to wait about... No, I mean, we, well, we need to get a long rest in, and I think that probably yeah. starts over from the point when we finish off the ink eggs. Yeah, so basically instead of waking up at uh, well, we only 8 a.m., you wake, yeah, you wake yeah. up at 10. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you guys uh, wake up. Um, I'd like Neil to give me another tracking check. I have to restart my tracking check? Because of the confusion and last night, I'm going to say that you need to kind of recover the track or where it was. I'm going to give you an advantage on the roll anyways. But it's just like you don't know, you don't remember exactly where it where it was continuing on. Well, can't the, I just go back to the camp where all the ant gig bodies and the holes are? And I know that's where yeah, we Yeah, th the that's trail. where I'm saying. That's where I'm saying give me a, a little advantage. Okay, well, then I will Hunter Mark Tracky Thingy again. So I get my other D4 in there. Do you want me to, uh, do you want me to pray for you? So we, are we already moving the next morning, the next day? Yeah, I'm thinking we already yeah, moving. I spend at least a few minutes in prayer. Ryan, did, you leveled up, right? Yeah, I leveled up. Okay. So I need to, I, yeah, I, it doesn't really matter for the rest of the party, but. Hunter's Mark. Yep. Okay. I don't think you can do the Hunter's Mark, though. Uh, because you don't have any. Wait, so wait, Justin, your, your HP is twenty one. Yeah, I had fifteen. And I got six. That so sounds wrong to me. What's I started your, with what's eight. Your con? My con is plus two. Oh, I guess you get D eights. Con is I plus get D6. two. I get D six, but I rolled a five and a okay, yeah. four. So a six, five, four, uh, nine plus. So I started with eight. eight. I got seven on my first roll because I rolled a five, and then I got another six. So it's twenty one. Five, I thought you have plus two to con. Five and two is yeah. seven, not eight. 
Yeah, I rolled a five on the die, so I get plus two, so that's seven. Okay, I thought and then you I rolled said a four that. on the die. I Sorry, I thought you two. said that was eight. That's so that's a combined seven plus total. six is 13, plus, plus eight, eight is which 21. is my base. So our wizard has the most HP in the party. Awesome. And you also have the highest con. Yes, <laughs> that's well. also true. Okay. Well, nice. So oh, I already awesome. have advantage, so I don't need to do Hunter's Mark, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Ryan, do, were you going to give me your little D4 bonus? Yeah, I can. As long as it's justified in the name of a stare, I can dole that out anytime. It's justified. Yeah, yeah Guidance is <laughs> a pretty cool cantrip. 25. Like That's enough. All right. My, and yeah. we, we've all, as we've all seen, Neil's character needs quite a bit of divine guidance in his life. You know what? That's part of the whole honor bonus. I'm, I'm sure a stare yep. will just throw these throw these little blessings out willy nilly. Yeah. We need all the help okay, we can so get. So, you guys continue on moving uh, northeast of your operation, and but you just as I said, after about two hours, you reach this forested area, and after another two hours of moving around, you reach Sea Drake. It seems like the um, track stops at the river. So let me actually draw the what you guys see. Basically, there is the big um, sea drake that's flowing. Uh, it's basically to the back to a sh um, to a rock wall over on here. And there is the. Are you drawing on the map or something? What are you talking about? Yeah. Do you guys see this? No. No. Yeah. I think you need to move our screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the torrent is is kind of da, 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 um, the torrent is that with a river kind of flowing from this lake, and you guys are on the side, and the tracks disappear into the river. So like we're just above where the river comes out into a lake that pools. One second, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, you guys are here. Is the river flowing downstream from the lake or into the lake? It's flowing downstream from the lake. Okay. Hmm. Uh, how deep is it? Uh, the lake is about five feet deep. Can we just about eight? About um. Eight feet wide. Eight oh, so twelve we, feet wide. We can just jump over it. Is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> you can just jump over it. Yeah. <laughs> so well, there's a pool. Whee! I take it there's a waterfall back here. Uh yeah, on uh, the rock shore. Yeah, as unrealistic as that is, even encumbrance doesn't affect your jumping ability, does it? It mm -hmm. just affects your movement. Um, mm -hmm. even if my mm -hmm. movement is is ten feet, I can still jump ten feet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, is there a is there anything behind the waterfall? Give me a perception check. No, it's, it's plus one. There we go. Eleven. Um, well, you can see nothing. You like you were just um, just the waterfall. You can't really see behind it because the stream of uh, the stream of water is impending your impeding your point of view. Can I like get up next to the rock and try and see past the water? Yeah, yeah. So you go um, over on this side, I guess, and try and see asks, past it. If, if anyone asks me what I'm doing, I'll explain, and maybe they can look too. Or maybe we can all look, and one of us can get advantage on our roll. Okay, any uh, anybody wanting to help? Yeah. Uh, after on this. So I'm reading Hill of Thorns again because Justin said something interesting about it. Uh, uh, the tracks went into the water. Yeah, the track stopped. Yeah, the track went into the water, and after they that, don't stopped. appear on the other side. All right, sure. There's you a have got there's it on a, the other side. There's a successful investigate check that can give just an advantage on whatever the hell he's doing. Uh, that's not the role. You just do help, and he gets yeah. an advantage. Cool. Oh, okay. Well, then you I just roll. declare that you help. Well, no, that I'm investigating my own. I roll an eleven. Ah. Fine, I'll investigate too. You guys. Suck. If you give me advantage, well, if you give, me, 
Give just give Justin your advantage, Neil. Oh yeah, because I get minus one. Justin, you have my help. Okay, so I roll a nineteen awesome. on perception. Uh, yeah, you know, nineteen. That is enough. You can see a um, cave entrance about eight feet by eight feet. Um, maybe a bit bigger. You can't really make it out. Just behind the waterfall. So I, I back up. The track, and is this I where like the track gesture. ended? I yeah. asked Neil. I nod. Yeah. So I back up and like wave them back and I whisper, there's a cave entrance behind the waterfall. This would be Kragma hideout all over again, isn't it? <laughs> Watch out for the wolves. All right. They probably can't hear us over the water, but let's just be sure there's not like an echo. So now that... Uh, Justin's pointed this out. I can we is this obvious to all of us? We can see like an entrance behind that. Well, yeah, what are all those yeah. boxes? Uh, trees. <laughs> oh, trees. <laughs> Just don't freak out like that. Don't so out like that. Can we step into this entrance now? Um, the water seems a lot deeper in the lake, so we'd actually have to swim together. Wait, can you ping where it is or draw the entrance on the map or something? Yes, I'm not seeing where the waterfall is and where the... Yeah, I don't even see at the waterfall. back of so, the pond. The whole is, back of the pond is a waterfall? Oh, I see what you mean. It might be, yeah. Half of it. It's like... Tum, 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 I guess. And there's no walkway to it or anything? You have to swim there's to There's no it? walkway at all. It seems that to be... That explain why their tracks ended going into the river because they... Have they to just swim to their front door every time? That well, they can probably sense. walk to their front door. How deep is the waterfall pit? The water was like, is it? said it was like eight feet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, so goblins they, would have to swim. Sorry, he said, he said four feet. Five feet. Five feet. Still, goblins are short. They'd have to swim out. But that's their problem, not ours, so. I'll have to swim. You'll have to swim? So, yeah. I grumble as I uh, well, this take actually, all of... I, I strip down. This is a very bad Andrews. situation. They're going to damage any of their food or any papers that they carry with them are going to get soaked coming Yeah, I'm wondering if there's another entrance, but I'm going to go ahead and get ready to uh, fjord the water unless someone else in the party has a better plan. No, let's just go through the water like this. Yeah, so I like, I have all of my possessions overhead. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Can I cast Ray of Frost on the water over and over again until it like sheets into ice and then we just okay, walk I'm not going to wait for this. <laughs> Well, how many guests would it take? I just wade through the pool to the waterfall with all of my equipment overhead. Okay, so you wade into the pool. Are there, are um, there any traps or difficulties? I mean, it's not like flowing violently, no, is it? No, you just no. It just you just um, swim easily to the other, uh, to this. I don't entrance. need to swim. I can walk. Oh, you can you can That's just you can just walk to this above water, but barely. So you raise yourself up. Me? Yeah. I, you raise yourself I go up on the, the entrance. Waterfall, hope, trying to get as trying to get my equipment as keep my equipment as dry as possible. Okay. Good. And so I wind up moving up to the entrance. Do I notice it? Oh, can I move that? Yeah. There we go. So I'm up in there. Uh, do I see anything out of the ordinary? Is like, uh, you can see nothing out of the ordinary. Me? It's just a dark tunnel going up. Uh, as quietly as I can, I set my equipment down on the base of the tunnel and pull myself in and start armoring up again. Awesome. I'll okay, him. everybody I, else? I would, I would do the exact same thing if he started stripping down. I would just follow him in. You're too little. Kevin? You may need me to, do you want me to carry your stuff? I can swim. Okay, Just but all of your paper is going to get soaked through. Um, your spell book? That's a good point. Yeah, I'll I'll ask someone who's taller to like carry my stuff over their head. Yeah. Well, I'll carry your stuff, or Ryan can carry your stuff. Yeah. Unless there's someone that shows up and tries to eat us while we're doing this, stupid I think we short can, person like everything across. Well, actually, I mean, it's five feet deep. I'm five feet tall. If I put my arms over my head, my stuff would stay dry. And then you hold your breath for the entire walk. The whole Judy? eight feet of walking? Yeah, I think I got my breath. It's not that big. No, that's no, that's the river. Uh, the, the river, river is here. Pool is yeah, feet. yeah, but the pool is like an additional. Is this is to scale? The the pool's an additional eight feet on their side. It's eight feet from the edge to the walkway. Right? Maybe ten feet. About so. About so. Eight, I can hold my feet. breath for ten feet. 
famous last words. <laughs> okay, so do you actually do this? Do you actually just... Can, can I hold... I, I feel like I'd be able to hold my breath. Is this unreasonable? I can hold my... I, like, I'm not good at this, and I can hold my breath for a minute already. Uh, I mean, in, in ideal circumstances, but if something goes wrong, if you trip on a stone, or if you... Okay, I'll have someone else carry my stuff, but I'll just... Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so give me a swim check. What is it? So that's strength? Uh, yep. Athletics, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, unfortunately... You Wait, let me see if I know how. Is it we athletics or straight path. strength? I think it's strength. I think okay. let's, let's check to be sure. Um, it are you trained? No, I'm not. So it doesn't actually make a skill difference. Skill checks in this. It seems like they want skill checks in this edition to work like it's a stat check, and then if you justify having the skill, you can mm -hmm. bring that into play. Yeah. So if you were, if you were to say I'm trained in athletics, can I apply that to my swimming? It seems reasonable, and you would get your efficiency bonus. But if you aren't, doesn't although swimming in calm waters shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, I'm not sure what the issue is here. So I and took a second get, trip and brought his equipment over. Yeah, you can get to the other side, but it's basically just you waddling around, and you're not that good at swimming. Uh, so you're gonna take some water in. Okay. But besides okay. that. You can make it. I mean, that's not a big journey. Okay. If you try to make it from like this side to the opposite end, maybe then you would have had some difficulties. Well, I, I don't do that. Okay, good. And Trevin, you go inside as well? Yeah. Awesome. So you guys go into this uh, tunnel, unlighted at all, besides from the right of Ferrin's bill. It takes, seems to be going up. it takes like 10 minutes to get my armor back on, so we're hanging out in this entryway for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, in those 10 minutes, I like perception checks to be made by you guys. How often? Uh, after the first five minutes. Perception? No, just after the first five minutes, perception check. I'm guessing that your party members are not just looking at you and waiting, and they're looking around. Yeah. Okay, Martha, you can hear voices, uh, gruff voices in a language you don't understand, speaking uh, and echoing a bit towards you. I roll Fair a 23 and, well. and I speak goblin and orc. Yeah, uh, but that is not the language you hear. Okay. I speak... I also speak elven and common. Quick, quick, uh, I quick speak, thing. I speak... I, uh, sorry, I speak ahead. infernish and... I speak infernal and undercommon. Okay, good. And, <laughs> and I speak right? ogre. <laughs> they give us too many languages in this edition. No, ogre is I not a language. I speak human, elven, dwarven, ogre. Ogre is not a language. Um, it, in this world, giant. I assume it is. In D&D, in, 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 okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, in, in, in the world of Solemn, I would imagine that ogre is the base language. Wait, so the language we hear isn't... It isn't I mean, it's, like, we're in the age of mist, so it can goblin, be... Goblin, Cobalt, Infernal, or Undercommon? Really? It's none of those? Those are all the evil languages. Like, what are they speaking? Yeah. So, Neil, is there any... Is, is it Ogre or Giant in your world? Uh, They're the same language in, the, in any o case, right? Ogres speak Giant. Which is yeah. what you yeah. call it. In Dungeons and... In, dun in like, in... in yes, I want to I I get this clear. So, it's Ogre or Giant in your world? You're, you're the Dungeon Master. We should be asking Don't worry you, about... Right? Cre you do whatever you want for this campaign. Don't... Okay. On so you hear you hear gruff voices speaking in ogre, okay, saying so ogre giant are interchangeable. I think is what we're saying. Exactly. Which exactly. I do speak. Okay, good. You so hear, one of us. You hear two of them saying, mm, "Boss not happy. Human children escaped." So, so Chucky, it's sorry, can I, can, can I ask what you decide? So is this? Did we decide that this is the language of giants or the language of ogres? This is the language of ogres. Ogres, okay. And I, I and, think, I think and we're giants gonna, would speak the same, or I, I think we go. With, I'm trying to figure out whether my the character. Thing. Thing. Would, I think we go with the same thing. I think we're just going to go with the same thing, like giant noga being the same thing. Okay. Yeah. And they are somewhat interchangeable. I mean, they're big, big yeah. ass humanoids that come down from the mountains. It's, and it's different shit. dialects, to put it like that. Yeah. Okay, so you, 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 I'm just you, trying to figure out whether my, whether my yeah, I'm Go on. trying to figure out whether to relate to the party. I hear ogres around the corner, or I hear giants. I, I, I say that something 
I you hear ogres. Right. You, you, you definitely show you hear ogres. And it sounded like they were not talking about anything interesting. Yes, but you hear. Two, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you wanna do you wanna me to uh, continue on I mean, the text? Or do you, I'm, do you like, I'm like I'm like strapping up my armor and listening with a free ear for five minutes or however long. It, I think it's one okay. minute for AC, right? Oh wait, but Bowen, you're the thirteen. Sure. Yeah. You don't so I can't this. hear. So yeah, you don't you actually, actually, it. Sorry, you don't actually hear it. So everybody else hears it, but you're like you're putting on your armor. It's way too much stress to like, sure. put on your armor and listen okay, to. And then, but then they notify me, and six seconds later, I can hear it. Yeah. Or so I, still... we, I would I would put an arm on it, uh, like a hand on his arm, and be like, "Shh, listen." Okay, and, and then... here, yeah, boss not happy. Human children escaped, and the other one, uh, the other voice responds, uh, "What did Morgoth do?" So a Bradford. I really go after the party, oh. and I say, "Give me five minutes, and then we'll go ogre bashing." Okay. And I continue lacing up my or fastening my mail. And, and uh, let me continue on because there's actually two more lines that they say. Um, see. Well, I can't hear it over the sound of my my armor. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to save your dialogue for another time. Oh. oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Oh, okay, good. If only okay. I had rolled better on that perception check. Awesome, and yeah, you get your armor on, uh, and then you you guys all hear the voices kind of like coming, trailing off towards you. Towards us? Towards you, yes. Towards this tunnel you're in. Well, we... I mean, I'm suited up for battle at this point. Flail in one hand, shield in the other. Um... I'm just parked in front of the other two party members, right near this entrance. Uh, how far do we have before there's like a corner or something like that? I mean, you're looking up in front from the right of Neil's uh, bow. You can see about 50 feet is in. It, didn't, didn't he turn it off? Yeah, I my bow is still never... off. I, I don't leave it on. Okay, good. Uh, so you, you, you see from the right outside, you can only see about 20, maybe 30 feet in, and I you, don't know, you don't Does it turn, or is it just darkness? It's, dark, I, it's just going in front of darkness. You have 30 feet of dark vision. Yeah, I don't have so any dark vision. For, yeah. for a full so, 60 feet, it's completely dark. No, no, no you, don't get, you don't get your dark vision afterwards. Like, you don't get it in addition to what you see. So there's a dead end in 20 feet. No, it's it's just darkness. It's the the tunnel is continuing on, on, but you, I can oh, I can see in dim light for a sixty foot radius. Yeah, so can. So you if there's light from coming in from through the waterfall, oh, that's dim light. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, actually, the map ends there, doesn't it? One so. second, I'm just doing it down here. Do I? Get, is so, there sixty feet of darkness? Okay. Right? Well, I was trying to set the scene, but I honestly don't care. I'm I've got my flails already spinning. And I'm just waiting for whatever comes around that corner to get a smack to the face of. I take a position a behind Bowen, draw my bow, put my backpack on the ground. Um, I'm actually going to prepare an action. Do it. To. Eh. I'm, I'm going to cast a spell as is, actually. One of my new second level spells. Well, no, I can only concentrate on one thing at a time, can't I? Mm-hmm. I'll wait and cast it once. Nah. I'll just prepare an action to hit it with hit it in the face. Okay, and everybody else, do you want to do any prepare actions? Can I, uh, can I, mean, I see say can I see around that corner? Like uh, you can see that the corner bends, but you can't see around it. Well, I'm gonna suggest that yeah, I'm gonna I move up to that corner. Moves up to the corner. Okay. And I'm gonna move to like. Well, if I can, but I can't see in the dark, so you're gonna need to light either. Yeah, you're so gonna you, need to light. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move to like here. And as soon as I see something about to come around the corner, I'm gonna cast light on Ryan's shield. Okay. Well, right, as soon as, as you. Action. Yeah, you you both move there. Felon, do you follow? Yeah. Okay. Good. So as soon as soon as you get there, right there, you can see. Two shapes coming out of the darkness, and you can see two half ogres. Um, they look. How do I know they're half? 
And they, it's because obvious. They're going to be shorter. And it's the top half. I don't know if I know. I've walked a lot of miles. Maybe I have seen an ogre or two in my day, but oh, you speak I guess I, I guess I speak ogre, so I've probably yes. seen an ogre or two in my day. That's how they look. Okay. Ooh, ugly. Ugly indeed. Rawr. Oh, really? That's um, actually half orc, half ogre. Is what that is. A little bit That's of trivia actually... that, that Bowen can share with the party after the fight. Awesome, and you see After these two guys. Actually, you yeah, see I these two guys in. So, and did they notice me before stepping into range, or what? No, they, they you go there when you stop moving. It's like you look around the corner, and they're right there. It's like well, when they're, they're still like fifteen feet from me. It looks like yes, they're still like fifteen feet away from me. Are they, and they not they, facing him? Do they make awkward eye contact, or what? Uh, I'm rolling did you initiative, make or yes, I mean, I'm, yes. I'm waiting there in the shadow. You back. you are rolling initiative if you look around the corner. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Anybody I got a prepared else? action. Come at me, bro. There, make a bird whisper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody else, do your initiative. Yeah, let's roll the initiatives. So, Justin, is your light spell triggering? Uh, what is my initiative is twenty one? Your, your light spell triggers before that act. That right? These creatures have moved into your sight, or at least one of them. I I said as soon as they came around the corner, I would cast light on your shield, and that would be your it cue. Seems like course. around the corner, right? Yeah. But if they're if they're just standing fifteen feet away, talking and not moving, no, they're moving. The... they're moving. They're walking towards us. How much oh, okay. yeah. light does a torch shed exactly? Thirty feet of thirty feet of light and twenty feet yeah. of dim light. No, twenty and twenty. Bright in 20, dim in 20. Yeah, okay. Well, How's whatever. That? I go at 21, so I will light my bow on my turn. I can do that at will, right? That's not a bonus action or at anything? At will. It's at okay. will. Cool. Awesome. Good. And it's your turn. Go. Yeah, uh, Marcher, you also got a 21, right? Yeah. No, okay. he got a 20. I forgot to add my modifier. Ah, okay. So you cool. both have the same uh, initiative. So I, I will shoot d20. I'll light my bow and fire to... So I am uh, in bright light, it looks like. Yeah, you're in bright light. My question is, um, did the ogres see us before I get my shot off? The ogres did see you, yes. They did see us? Yes. Okay, so that's just going to be a d20 plus 7. Are the ogres wearing metal armor? The ogres are wearing hide armor. Sorry, okay. d20 plus 8 at the first ogre. 24? 24 is a hit. Uh, five damage to it, and I get a second shot at the ogre next to him because they're within five feet of each other. Uh, and that is a 14. Is that a hit? Yes. And then the other ogre takes six. So five to one, six to the other. Okay. Um, they seem startled. Not surprised, but startled at, at you being here. Um, and before they can do even anything, it's my first turn. Six damage to the injured one, and it has ten feet left of blessed movement. Which which injured one? They're both injured. The more injured one, the one that took okay, six. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and the then after that we have uh, uh, them themselves. Um, the more injured one, horrors, intruders. You can only be when you're the only one who can hear this. And the they can understand this. They can understand it exactly. And they take out their battle axes and stride at you. Um, this one attacking you, Smack! My and the other one attacking. Goes off. Awesome, do it. This was the one less injured. Nineteen. Nineteen is a hit. Four, four damage. Four points of damage. Okay, good. And these two guys swing at you. And that's 16 and 17. Hit? Any hits? Those are both uh, Against me? Yes. Yeah. 16 and 17. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even. Don't even. Right, okay. you, you dare yeah. waste my time with 16s and 17s? No one. Show us okay. what you got. Yeah. So I think I am content with my AC20. I'm not going to bother praying for any better protection. 
I will, however, pray for Astaire's divine favor as a bonus action. Bonus action. So until I lose my concentration, my weapon deals d4 bonus radiant damage. So my whirling flail is now shedding this divine light as I go to swing at one of these ogres. Ouch. Uh, how about... I'm not going to bother buffing that. Mm -hmm. um, but I will shift so that I'm like... I'm staying within five feet of all these guys, but I'm in the middle of the hallway. Okay, good. And After sure. that, we have to go around initiative again, and it's Morphe and Thelen. Well, Thelen okay. can go first. Uh, I was going to let you go first, because I'm doing a better bear thing. A better bear thing? <laughs> a better bear animation? What? Yeah, yeah. Rather than using the... I'm just... Yeah. Give me a second. All right. My, my turn's not going to take that long. Awesome. Eight damage to the more injured one. Um... This one Actually, is I'll, do standing on I'll do it to the... Yeah, there we go. That's good. Perfect. Much better bear. Now I don't have to keep a window open. <laughs> oh, that bear is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Keep your eyes open for the DM hacks, bear. <laughs> okay. When you, uh, when you see it... Call in for a chance to win. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. Okay. Did you, okay, you made your awesome. attacks, Martha? Martha? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's your so turn. I will fire at the lower one first. Fifteen is a hit. Hit. And Fifteen then is a hit. Damn! I should have used my channel divinity. And well, fourteen was a hit actually. Oh really? I should have been paying more attention. And fourteen <laughs> against the other one is a hit. For eight. You killed the one down here. He falls down dead. I'm just gonna keep him here to remind me what XP I need to give you at the end. And the other one with eight damage is still up and going. Okay. Uh, I don't know whose turn it is then. I think it's his turn, the monster's it's turn. His, it's his turn. It's his turn, yeah. And he strikes a villain for a 19 against AC. Nope, thanks for that ring of defense, Chucky. I'm good. <laughs> You're good. Good job, Bowen. Go. Um, all right, I will make an attack. Uh, 14 should be a hit, Is right? A hit. All right, D8 plus D4 plus 2. 11 damage. 11 kills the ogre. <laughs> Oh, I don't even need to use my bonus action. So I am feeling the spirit of war. I use my move action to just charge down the hallway. I have light on my shield. I don't have light on my shield. <laughs> you have light on your shield. Do you I just cast light on the shield? Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I okay. at the end. A stare! And I just go barreling down the hallway. Um, you barrel down the hallway. By the way, my backpack is barreling back down there. the hallway. My backpack is sitting at the entrance, by the way. Don't let me forget it. Ah! Do, I see, <laughs> do I see anything to hit? Uh, if, yeah, give me I one pack, second. If I come to any creatures, I've got a bonus action. So I run 30 feet. <laughs> I'm not really concerned with the consequences. This is going to go well. Okay, yeah, so in the middle. I and 20 AC. I'm feeling invincible for a level 3 character. And in the middle of here, you see two large ogres, like <laughs> the big ones, uh, that were standing that were standing at just king-sized tables. Uh, have their clubs, their weapons in hands, and they're already ready to come and take you on. So I don't reach them this round, do I? Uh, no, you do not. Uh, you you get there. That's where you get. Still stand your, menacingly in the feet. doorway, whirling my flail overhead, shouting taunts at them in, in ogre. And you see two large giant ogres with uh, great clubs in their hands, bellowing at you. And the whole cave echoes, and the the, the rock itself seems to shake at their mighty roar. Okay, so, and we go initiative to get them in the combat. Oh, interesting. 
<laughs> oh my, I just strolled up and saw the ogres. Yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah. They were smaller before, but then he added water and they just poof. <laughs> poof. <laughs> so, next in line we have Marfu and Cohen because they couldn't roll better than their 21. Alright, um... So... So I are they assume wearing... you guys can hear the... Are they wearing metal armor? <laughs> you don't see them yet. Yeah. I'm gonna you move just, around you the just corner. hear me and the ogres having an argument in the other room. I'm gonna move around the corner. Are they wearing metal armor? You move around the corner, uh, and they are not wearing metal armor, no. Alright. So, am I far enough back that they can't see me? No, because um... I'm glowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn your bow off! All I right. turned my bow off. <sighs> Can you do it on other characters' turns? No, oh, I we think it's at the same time. We have the exact same initiative. Nice. Yeah. So, are we far enough back that they can't see us? With the bow off. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. At, at the moment, uh, they are... Light spell. How, 40 yeah, feet, I think. 50? It's 30. No, if it's 30, if it's 30, they see you. Because, yeah. oh. because he scale. moved... Yeah, it's, it's uh, just scale. Same as a torch. 2020. It's about to scale. You're in dim light, I think. You're in dim light back there. Okay, so they can't see us. So. Yeah, right. you are you are in dim light. Or you can... Yeah. Crit. Oh, shit. Critical hit. For nine damage. Okay, now they see you. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it. What, what, what do... attack was that? That was Ray of Frost. Oh, Nice. All right, so I will do awesome. 25. I only have the one range spell. 25 is a hit. RD8 plus 4. 10 damage. Awesome. On which one? The one that... The one that I can see. I can only see this guy on the right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, the, only, that's the only one I can see, too. So. Okay, He's, awesome. He has 10 feet lettuce less of movement, if it ends up mattering. It might, actually. He might, he might, he might not be able to get to Ryan without double moving now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, now exactly it's their turn. But it looks like he's. Which one did you hit? Uh, the closer one? Yeah, it looks like a yeah. 25. Feet. It's this one here. Uh, this one over here that was hit. Drops mm -hmm. his crate up and takes out Javelin. And throws An oversized ja Javelin? An oversized Javelin. And he throws the Javelin at you. At me? Uh, no, oh. at, uh, at Bowen. Okay. Oh, shit. Bowen, 25 against AC. That'll do it. Okay, let's see what the oversized javelin does in damage. <gasps> oh shit. Nine. 13 points of damage. We're good, we're good. I almost Five. ruined everything. 13 points of damage. They must. You get strength bonus on thrown weapons, I guess, right? Yes. yes. And this guy and over here just moves in front of the one that was not attacked. And... Swings his great club at your face. I could be going down. Four a six against AC. That's, uh, let me roll my strength state or my constitution saving throw. No, actually a seven, but still. Seven. <laughs> yeah. I gotta do it twice. Wait, thirteen. Easy. Oh no, he missed. So second. He missed. missed. All right, I'm good. He missed. He missed. He missed. So it's your turn now. Yeah. So. I will go ahead. I guess this. I guess just burn all the spell slots. All right, I'm gonna make an attack first as my main action. So it's a d20 plus four to hit. Fuck. Well, that's not a miss. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action to heal myself. I'm gonna go ahead and use what you called healing word. And I think I'm going to... Why don't I try it as a second level spell slot? So it's 2d4 plus 2? Yeah. Show this Show this off. D, 2d4 plus... 6 damage. Alright, uh, that would be my turn. Yeah, that's your turn. 6 damage to the one in front of you? No, what? That's 6 healing to me. <laughs> oh, 6 healing. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Spacing out. Okay. Um, and let's continue on with da, 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 Marfo back and top Bowen. Order. Back to top order. Order. I'll move up so I'm adjacent, and I will uh, touch the uh, the ogre. 
By the way, Neil, people are screaming yeah. for you to move the map. Okay, map you touch. This map does not need to be moved, they're lying. It needs to be moved. No, it doesn't. What, what do you possibly need to include in the map that is not being shown currently? Uh, your character, Justin's character. They're on go. the map. Now I can see it. Maybe it's just the delay. Yeah. Okay. I, haven't moved, I haven't touched the map in ages. The ogre takes uh, seven damage and can no longer take reactions. Awesome. It's lightning damage if it matters. 14 Probably is not. a hit. God, so your bonus to attack is ridiculous. Yeah, tell me about it. 14 is, is a deck, hit. For is your deck 17? Or it? He gets archer fighting style, so which gives him an additional plus okay. two, and then magic bow. Yeah. And, yeah. Awesome. Okay, and you actually attack, and you damage him for eight points of damage. The, the ogres are still standing tall and proud. They don't seem to be uh, that easily taken down. They're ogres. Okay, and after that, uh, Ogre's turn. Um, this Ogre over here is gonna say, I'm gonna, s I'm gonna go one marathon. You take the care of these pests. Humans with the children might still be here. Did he say I'm gonna and go run a marathon? Something he's like gonna that. warn Malafron, who's I guess their leader. Oh, okay, he's not running marathon, got it. <laughs> So the one in the back leaves? Yeah, the one in the back turns around and uh, starts moving up this way. How far Six. does he move? Is he still movement 10? No, he's got his full movement. Uh, he's, no, he, he, has has 20, he was 25 he has feet moved, from us, and now he's... He has, moved, um, he has, you, he has a arrow of frost on, and a ray of frost on him. That's only one much? round, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. gone. So yeah, he moves okay. 80 feet away. He's got so a movement of 40? He has 40. got a movement of 40, yeah. So you don't see him anymore. Wow. What the fuck? Yeah, all of us have a quick. movement of 40. And that is, this guy that is a huge change. Yeah, that's really that well, But it also and makes way more sense. Ogres having the same movement rate as people, actually slower, they slower. than people, yeah. which is so always you, stupid. So you can taunt ogres and then run away. Yeah, basically, yeah. what this guy is doing is he's raising his great club with his hands and swings it down at Martha. Uh, provoking an opportunity attack from me. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will take that. Thank you very much. 17. 17 to hit. D8 plus D4 plus 2. 9 damage. 9 points of damage. Okay, Marfa, 19 against AC. Yeah, that is. I die. You take 12 points of damage. Ah, oh, okay. That's not so bad. Okay, good. And after that, in next in line, we have Bowen. Uh, for, let's make let's make an attack against this guy. Twenty three. Twenty three is a hit. This guy's taking a lot of damage, and he's like not even. Twelve damage. Twelve points of damage. Still not enough to take him down. This is the one that you didn't initially attack, by the way. Yeah, I know. Um, debating whether to finish him. Yeah, okay. I'll invoke my one of my class features to strike with a bonus action. Uh, let's make that a nineteen. Nineteen is a hit. So that that will be the that's. But I'm done with my. I'm out of channel divinities. That's fine. Ouch! Five damage. And five points of damage is still not enough to take him down. Mark and Bowen. Are you gonna make a difference? All right. Let's. Well, see. I I walk around behind him because he can't take reactions, so now I have advantage. Wait, how many rounds is that for? Because his round it, where he couldn't take advantage. It's till it's till the, the it's till the next turn. Like am I? Am I? Can he see me? Because I'm still in dim light. He probably has some kind of night vision, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. he has. Let me see. Let me check to be sure. I don't actually move more than five feet away from you. Yes, he actually it's has a dark better. vision of sixty feet, so, so he does. Okay. okay, so you move, you move behind him. Twenty-eight natural twenty critical. Twenty-eight critical. Go, 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 go. Twenty-eight plus Double damage. four damage. Exactly. Twelve. Twelve points of damage. Still not enough to take this motherfucker <laughs> down. It's fine. He's still up. <laughs> I miss. Oh, that's a complete miss. Uh, this guy. Wow. I rolled a three and a two. Just 
this guy just sw turns around to swings at Martha. No. Uh, provoking an opportunity attack for me again. Yep. 15. Yep. A hit. For 7 damage. And you manage to take the ogre down before his blow can fall on your compatriot. Ha! Huh. Ogre kill. Ha! Huh. Okay, and you over I shout, open. face judgment, you foul beasts. Okay, so he's... Actually, least... I take... Huh? Chucky, I take an action to cast Thaumaturgy to make my voice echo. Probably, like, the sound of, like, a half dozen men down the hallway yes. in Ogre. You face judgment, foul beasts. Ye I would like the, all of you to give me I... perception checks as soon as you walk into the room. Further than the entrance. Okay, um, and I am relating to my party that what I have deciphered in Ogre 21. that they that they didn't hear in character, so that they have human prisoners somewhere in here, and that their leader's name is Mob Glob or whatever his name oh, was. His, his, As his, you... marathon. his leader's name is Marathon. The leader's name no, is Marathon, no. and he's coming <laughs> to take care of us. Um, Twenty-two perception. We we, we know you guys. Chuck, but you, it's funny you, you're not. I know. You're not being even given time to speak before you can see a uh, human. Let me just get the token up so you can. Uh, you can see a human uh, female armed with a great sword on her back um, just coming out of. God damn it, I can't find a human female warrior over here. Doesn't matter. Uh, there's a human female coming out on over this side with about six children behind her and behind the children there is a white robed uh, man are the children in chains or anything like that no the children are, are they... the children seem to be moving hastily um some of them bear marks of um bear, some of them have bear marks beatings yes they don't seem to be looking okay that this good. this this incessant incenses incenses Bowen. He doesn't wait for any explanation, and he just pounces on these on this woman with the two-handed sword. Okay, it's about this. Flail about whirling, still spewing divine sparks in all directions. All right, so it's about thirty feet of. Um... Okay, go. Thirty. I mean, I, she can roll her initiative to get in the order. I think is am I? Let's... I'm rolling okay. initiative. Baron Let's finished it. So, so hold well, on. Baron finished the creature. I did my thaumaturgy no, you the next you round. Finished him, oh, you I finished, finished him off during his turn, so now during it's your his turn. turn. So now it was my turn. I used my thaumaturgy, delivered threats to our enemies. So now it's my turn. And then I can move, though. But I, she said I didn't. I barely got to speak. When, so I do get to move uh, close to her. Yeah. Yes. Right. And, and so now, uh, this... I don't know where she is in the initiative order, but it's either uh, party no, it's turn. This one first. It's this one first. Uh, this woman turns around, uh, just not completely, just her heads, her head, and says, um, Tyrell, get the children out. I'll take care of these bandits. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Wait. And she. Just... Wait. I mean, it's. It, 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 she <sighs> looks at you with a wary face and prepares an action. It is your turn, Marfer. Uh, we're here to kill the ogres. Are those the captured children? She nods his, her head slightly. Are you here to free the children? She nods her head slightly again. Good. Do you know how many ogres are in the cave? Uh, I killed about four half ogres and a big one on their way here. There were a couple of half ogres were following us behind. Now the only exit is that way over there. I need to move before the leader catches word of us. Um. Okay. Yeah. So we've killed four. So there should be like two plus the leader left. Close to that. All right. Uh, well, you can you can take them out of here, and we'll just go kill the leader and be right with you. He looks at you. Uh, take care. The leader is not an ogre, it's something else. Something from hell itself. It'll not be from fine. Underworld itself. It'll be fine. <laughs> he 
she nods her head and um, she kind of directs the children and they start running down um, towards on this side. Um, hold she, on a sec. I gone. Does she go before? When, where does she go in the order? I'm she, still entirely convinced. I believe. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, she prepared an action, and you guys just. I guess you just like talked, and after you would be going now if you wanted to do anything. Yeah, I mean, can I get like an in? I don't even know. My insight's not that good, but I'll roll one anyway. You can do an insight. Yeah, you can do an insight. I mean, I'm gonna ask her how. Uh, how do I know she's not allied with the ogres? I thought for a second there that you were this marathon they were speaking of. So I botched my insight. What is, what is the response? Insight. If she says, um, would I be this marathon if I am taking the children outside with a curry of stare behind me? I, I, so the, the guy in the rear is a cleric? The guy in the rear, upon looking at him, completely white robes, there is a clerical symbol hanging around his neck. Can I recognize it as my own? Yes, it is the platinum thing. Um, the, well, what was your thing? It's an equilateral triangle with a equilateral circle triangle. at each end. Yeah, a little. Um, yes, can I a, recognize any rank or insignia based on him? So uh, you if you, no we're a long way away. So, so the the cap of the high seat of a stair is like far to the west on the other side of the continent. Like yes, thousands yes. and thousands of miles away. There is no and that, is, that is where my character was trained and educated years ago before I journeyed over here to the edge of civilization. Um, but I assume I would be able to recognize like if he was yes, but trained. There's, no, there's none of them. It's, it, he it's, he's just got a holy symbol in the robe. Yeah. He so has he's a not a member robe. of any church or order, just sort of a wandering priest. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can take it however you want. Yeah, I'll I'll lower my weapon. Uh, yeah, and stand aside. Okay, pass. you stand aside. Um, they start moving, and about is she gonna direct the children? Um, the cloak kind of st starts going in front of them, and the children follow, and so on. And as they kind of, do you guys do anything, or do you just wait for the children to get away? They're taking the children out the back entrance, aren't they? Yes, they are, yeah. that's how it looks like. I'll actually I'll accompany them and go grab my backpack, I think, and at least make okay. sure that none of the kids. I say I'm going to stay in this room and keep watch uh, on these two exits from here. If you guys are, you guys take the children out, I'll make sure no one's following us from behind. I say. Well, I I would like to I would like actually um, you guys talk you guys have this conversation. I uh, don't you give me perception. This conversation is happening over the course of like seconds. Yes. A minute, yeah. okay. I'm super perspective perceptive. Eighteen. Okay, but when you hear footsteps coming down from the north and um big north loud end. ogre footsteps 18 as well big loud ogre footsteps and you feel you feel something wrong something foul in the air something so wrong that it troubles your very being so wrong that it just feels it right. feels right uh. <laughs> <laughs> and with that uh, i think we're just about due for a break yeah dun, dun, i think dun, this dun. is our third and final break, break for today awesome so we'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.